guys. I am back. It's Cameron, the blushing foreigner, and I have a haul for you today. It's been a while since my last video, and I apologize. I seem to be saying that a few times now. Um, I've been traveling for work in Europe, and we have a lot of meetings around town and uh, in Northern Europe and in France. And um, ooh, there's a bee in my apartment. And also, I've been moving. Um, so uh, I'm in the process of switching flats because of a uh, change in my love life. And my boyfriend and I, or my fiance and I are no longer engaged and it's amicable and we're separating things like mature adults do. And so I've been sort of in transition mode in between. So that's the poop, probably more information than you wanted or needed, but I have um, some products to share that I picked up that I think are kind of fun. It sort of helped me get through some trying times. This is what we call retail therapy, but really I'm fine. So the first item to share with you guys today is uh, by Bobbi Brown and it's a long wear cream shadow. I've never had a cream shadow and it's in this shade, a shade called stone. Looks like that. And it's a taupe color, taupey brown. I'm going to swatch it here on my wrist. And I really like it. It's a very natural uh, shade. I think it's easy to wear. It's a good day sort of eyeshadow to put on. I bought this in Paris. Uh, the girl who had, she was a beautiful lady who was helping me and she had very natural makeup on and she saw my eyes and sort of recoiled because I had all this like shimmer on and she's like, uh, you need something like this. She was a young girl, but um, I think the target group for Bobbi Brown is a bit older maybe 40s or 50s. I don't know. But it's a nice it's a nice product. I think it's a nice taupey slate stone colored cool um shade. The next item is I guess a classic for many people is MAC lingering eyebrow pencil. And according to a few people, I think Lisa Eldridge uses this, Pixie Woo girls on YouTube, they use this. It's just almost like a universal um brow pencil. It works for blondes and brunettes. I was worried maybe I was too blonde for it, like, but I like a, di a darker eyebrow. So I'm using it on my brows today. You can see it's kind of covered up on my bangs, my fringe. Yeah, this is the good pencil. I like it. MAC lingering. It's kind of a waxy consistency. It seems to last all day. And so I've been happy with this. And the next product I don't have here, it's at my new flat in another place. Um, and that is MAC Prep and Prime SPF 50. Really like that. It's helping my foundation stay on longer and protecting my face. I think having an SPF 50 is wonderful. I think we all need to be worried about the sun and cancer and premature aging and all that stuff. So I'm really enjoying it. Okay, this is a highlighter I bought here in Copenhagen and it's by the brand Face Stockholm. I don't have a lot from that line. I have, I think, some mineral eyeshadows from them. Um, and it's nice. I don't know. I think I've kind of paid too much. It looks like this. It's a yellow, off-white, yellowy. And I'm using it right here on my brow bone, on my, down the slope of my nose, in the cupid's bow. It's a good highlighter. I don't know if it's worth it. Like, I don't know. I'll find out what I paid. It's nice. I still set it with a powder over it because I don't think these cream highlighters tend to last very long, but it's good. Okay, this item I found really fun. I've never owned the Body Shop makeup. I just never thought, you know, that they were specialized in cosmetics enough to warrant me buying them, but I found this palette and I thought it was really interesting. And it's called Eye color, ombre, okay. Eye palette 01 Boho Beauty. And they have this collection out called the Body Shop Limited Collection for Eyes. And it was designed by the University of the Arts London College of Fashion. I think this, just this packaging was designed by them. But it's nice actually. I was really intrigued by this color called Apricot right here. Tiny bit chalky. Um, but actually pretty pigmented. I'm gonna swatch it. 
it's a nice orangey color and I, I kind of sometimes mix it with this shade up here which is a pink peachy thing and it's it gets a nice color those that's sort of mixed those two and they're next to it's right over here no here that's the body shop the Bobby Brown's next to that but um it's pretty good I like this palette uh Anna the style diet was using you guys probably have seen her she's another YouTube guru person she uses this shade on her brows. It's sort of a taupey brown. It's shade 03 Boho Brown. It goes New Nude, Vintage Apricot, Boho Brown, and then Hoped Oat Chocolate. And this is like a berry. There's some red in this chocolate. It's a nice little kit, actually. I kind of like it. I bought it in Copenhagen. Again, I think apricot and oranges are really good on blue eyes. Can you see that? These swatches are ridiculous. I'm sorry. Um, next palette, Maybelline Eye Studio. I just broke it. <laughs> it's a nice little kit. I just dropped it, and these two popped out, and I put them back in and reversed the order. So um, don't mind that. Sorry. But this is a nice little kit. I'm actually mixing shades one and two. There's a highlight. There's an all-over lid color. There's a crease color, and then maybe an, a deeper outer V, or an aligner color. This color here is darker and it's the liner. This is kind of pointless. Looks like that. I'm afraid of breaking it again. Um, it's a very natural palette called Natural Impact and it's in the Glamour Browns collection. It's pretty good. Okay, more Topshop makeup. I need to stop buying Topshop makeup. People like talk trash about Topshop makeup but I think it's actually really good. I don't know why it's not getting any love on YouTube, but I'm going to spread the love for the Topshop line because it's good and it's not super expensive. So it's something to think about if you're living in Europe. I know in the States where I'm from, it's not around. So this is kind of annoying probably for you to hear about. But Brighton by Topshop. I had, this is an undry brightener you can use before you use your concealer and it's got this brush. It's much like the... YSL Touch Eclat, Eclat, I don't know, I've never used that, but I've tried it at the mall. Um, I've had the Bobbi Brown Brightener, I did not like her version of it, it was crappy, I returned it, but this is good, it's just, it was, I think I paid 88 kroner for it, I'll write it below, it's a good brightener. Okay, last items. I have four lipsticks to share, and I'll start with the one I'm wearing right now, my favorite, I just bought this. Um, here in Copenhagen, I wanted to buy it when I was in Paris because I think YSL may be a tiny bit cheaper. It's from the YSL Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Per collection. It's number 23 Coral Poetique. And it looks like this. And the beautiful Rachel at Makeup Never Sleeps uh, blogged about this shade. She featured it also in a video. If you don't know her, you have to check out her blog and her videos. She's hysterical. I just adore that girl. I have a total YouTube crush on her and she posts videos with her husband almost daily. They do like day in the life kind of stuff and she talks a lot about, you know, face of the day, what she's wearing, what she's buying and she doesn't mean to be or try to be but she's so funny. She's so, so hilarious. And the way she blogs about cosmetics is very quirky and she brings a different angle. And I just, I think you have to check out her blog. It's MakeupNeverSleeps.com. And sometimes she has some really good blog sales too. So I heard about this from her. She's totally over the coral wave. But nonetheless, she mentioned this in a post and I had to have it. So I'm wearing that right now. And I put over it. It's kind of hard to see. There's a lot of sun. I'm right by the window. I put over it NARS Ophelia. I actually kind of, it's, to me, this color is very peach. I don't see the coral at all. I'm going to put it here. So this is what it looks like. Now it's looking corally, but it's mostly peach the way it looks on me. I don't know. Can you tell? This is probably the color of the summer for me. And it is Topshop. I went back yesterday to buy a second tube of this lipstick because I love it so much. And I get compliments on it and they didn't have it. 
so I bought a different shade. So, but this is called Oh, it's supposed to be Ooh La La, but they wrote it Oh La La, I think. And it is a coral. Surprise, surprise. It's a peachy, orangey, bright coral, but not obscene. It's a pink coral. So like I have True Coral by Tom Ford, which is a bright red coral and it's called True Coral. That one is a little daring, a little too, too infrared in my opinion. This is much more wearable. It's this color. It's so pretty. Oh la la. Trying to be ooh la la, but they spelled it O-H-H, -H, which is oh la la. Topshop, love it, great color. Bought another Topshop lipstick when I was trying to get a second tube of oh la la. I bought infrared, which is an orange. It's a lot like Mac Mirage. I'm just layering my lipsticks. How tucky is this? It's kind of orangey. It's this shade right here on the bottom. It's very pretty. I like the Topshop lipsticks because they're pretty matte, yet they're creamy. They don't have shimmer. They're not shimmer shimmer or sparkle workle. They're just nice. Good matte colors. So, loving that. And then... This is, I, th I don't know if I mentioned this before, I got this in the US, it's good to go. It's the orange color by MAC in the Longwear, the Pro Longwear collection. And this is a really nice color too. I'm into orange actually. I, I transitioned out of peach and coral, which I still love, but I'm now I'm like, okay, let's try orange. Sort of, you know, the transition I'm going through. So those are the four lipsticks I have. And then one more item to share with you guys is um, sunglasses. Oh, the sun's really coming out. I'm sorry. I'm going to be so... Ooh. Okay, one more item. I'm sorry I had to change locations because the sun is just super bright right now. But I got some aviators. And these are from H&M. They look like that. I kind of look dorky with bangs with aviators. Oh, well. I thought they were fun. I also got this new cuff earring. I have this one and then this is from a shop in Denmark called Pico and it's got this little little that's the official name of this it's the ring um, or earring I don't know what I'm talking about do you want to know what the trick is to my aviators um this is embarrassing but I have a small I have a small melon that's this thing right here, my head. And um, I've tried aviators before that just look redonkulous on me, like huge and stupid. So I got these from the kids section at H&M. And um, I think they're okay. They kind of fit. They're a little, they're still actually big. I don't know how a kid's face would like fit under these. But um, yeah, if you ever run into that trouble where you're like, aviators look stupid on me, try the kids maybe it's because your face is too small like mine so that's my little tip to you thank you for watching and uh, i hope you enjoyed this haul and i hope to see more of you um once my life kind of normalizes and uh yeah thank you bye have a great weekend